Hello everyone, and welcome to this month's car camp. So this month we're driving to the village of Lenham. Now the reason why I've chosen the village of Lenham is because it sits next to the North Downs Way. Now the North Downs Way is a national trail that runs from Farnham all the way down to Dover and is around 150 miles long. So the plan tomorrow is to run a section of the North Downs Way from the village of Lenham to the village of Chillum. And according to my national trail map, that comes in at about 11 miles. Now, in terms of how long my actual run will be tomorrow, I'll talk a little bit more about that later on. So, in terms of parking for tonight, if you've seen my previous videos, then you'll know that I always like to know where I'm gonna park. Now, in terms of Lenham, there is a small village car park, but there's no guarantee I'm gonna get space there. So what I've done as well, I've had a look on Google Maps and I've identified a couple of residential places, well, residential roads, where I should be able to park. Now the advantage if I end up doing this is that that'll be my first ever residential stealth camp. So that could be quite fun. But we'll see what it's like when we get there. So I have been able to finish work a little bit early. The advantage of that being means it's going to be daylight still by the time I get there. So that's good, I can have a little look around and see what's what. Now clearly, the biggest issue for tonight is going to be the weather. It, um, yeah, the weather's certainly turned. It is very cold. Now, to be on the safe side, so I don't freeze my bajingas off, um, I've taken two sleeping bags and a blanket. So I'm hoping I'll be all right either way. So, looking at it, we've still got 20 minutes left to go. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put some music on and show you some driving videos. I'll see you when we get there. Okay, so we have made it to the village car park. Let's see if there's anywhere to park, is the question. That would have been a nice spot over there, but people can't park properly, so there's not. Now we've got spaces here. Oh, there might be spaces, you know. Oh, there are spaces. Okay, we're sorted. Looks like we're parking here tonight. Your destination. I don't know if this is on a slope. Let me have a look. I think what we might do, that's not on a slope, so we're going to go this way. Now I'm going to park. Right. Oh, shut up, Satnav. So we're going to park here. It's a nice space. It looks fairly flat. Try not to hit the car behind me, that's always useful.
and that's it we have made it here we are in the Lenham village car park it feels flat I think it's flat journey wasn't too bad I was held up there was a car crash on the way that's why the journey should have we should have had more than enough time to get here uh, while it was still light but the traffic was due to the crash unfortunately but it looked like a fairly small crash and everyone was okay so what I'm going to do now I think is switch everything off and we'll have a little look around and see what's up certainly a very pleasant walk around Linham. It would have been nice of course if it was daytime but I think having the Christmas lights out makes it made it quite a pleasant little walk around and now I'm back to my car I've got my coffee sorted so I can start to chill out. Now luckily before I left the car and went out for my walk earlier I set the car up before I went. I've made the mistake last time of when it was dark and for some reason trying to set up is that much more difficult and um, it's easier to do it when you've got a little bit of daylight so that way you come back to the car and just jump in and hide. Now this car park is behind a pub. It looked really nice actually, quite fancy going in. So there has been, I'm, I'm imagining there'll be a little bit of pub associated traffic. So people coming in and going out. But on the whole it does feel like it could be quite a quiet one tonight. Um, fingers crossed. So also just want to say hello to all my regular subscribers and also a hello to anyone who's finding themselves here for the first time. Um, if you enjoy this vlog then you'll be pleased to know to binge watch all my other vlogs will only take you about an hour because this is only the fifth time I've ever been car camping. So um, yeah what I'll do as well if you if this is the first video of mine you've ever seen now I'm going to try and do some YouTube cards now. So if you follow this link, it will take you to the setup video of the car that I have, which is a seven-seater Vauxhall Zafira. And if you follow this card, it should take you to a little vlog of me walking around, explaining who I am, why I car camp, and why I vlog. But as a quick kind of introduction as to who I am, I car camp once a month and what I tend to do on my car camps is I go for runs so a car camp maybe we go for a walk around the village if I'm parked in a village like I am now and then in the mornings I'll do a run now in terms of me I suppose I'm what you call an ultra runner so I run over a marathon distance now up until fairly recently I was quite happily doing 40 mile runs my first my second vlog is a 40 mile run but ever since I had COVID not so long ago it's affected my lung capacity and how much I can run at the moment so I can still run I just can't do the long distances now in terms of tomorrow the section on the North Downs way that I'm looking at is 11 miles long out so in the past that would have been a simple no-brainer 11 miles out and back 22 mile run but um, I'm gonna play on the safe side and see how it goes and if I start to feel knackered on the way out, I'll just turn around and come back. I mean, 
obviously the run's going to be a little bit different to normal, not as free flowing because I've got my drone with me and I've got some other bits. So if the weather's decent, and it could be, I think, then we might be getting some little drone photography to go with the running as well. So yeah, so that's a little bit as to what I do on car cams and a general update for people who've been following and know about my ongoing saga with my running and my lungs. So if you saw my previous vlog, you'll know that I stole the whole car camping idea from my wife. It was her idea. Now, what the plan is for next year, we're gonna try and find a way that we can actually do it together in this car because every time I go off car camping she's at home and she's sad because at the end of the day she wants to do this it was her interest so we are going to have a look to see how we can do it now clearly we won't have the porta potty because as much as we love each other yeah not no not in the back of a Zephira that would be quite nasty I mean I do have a urinal bottle with a feminine bit on it so we can use that but what the only difference with us car camping together will be we'd have to park somewhere where we know there's 24 hour toilets so like a supermarket or something so not the whole supermarket stealth car camp business that not that more so a village or a town or something where we know there's a 24 hour store so we know we can do number twos now in terms of how the back of the car would work we can fit us both in here because as you would have seen in one of my earlier setup videos, I have two pieces of this bed foam. Now what we've already trialled is we can get both bits of foam next to each other in this car. Now we do actually have two of these sun beds, but unfortunately they don't both go next to each other because of the arms. But pardon me, what we can do is, now with the Zephira, again on the setup video, you'll know the middle road chair can either be this way up or that way up. Now when I car camp on my own, I have it this way down. What we've sussed out is we can put it up this way and this bed still fits. So it's cool. So we can have this bed like this and we can have the other foam lying flat next to it. So there is enough room. Now there's still the storage under the bed so we can still get all our bits and bobs under there. Cooking again would be a bit weird to do it in the car together so i suspect what we would do we can go use it as an excuse to go out for a meal or something or get a takeaway or whatever so we could get a takeaway we could sit in the car if we're near a supermarket we can do do our business there and um yeah so that's the plan 2022 you will see myself and my darling wife now i'm not sure if she'll want to be in the filming of it so that would be quite an interesting way how do I film a car camp with a second person in the car when they don't want to be filmed so watch this space and we'll see how all of that works out so if you've ever wondered what people do in their cars when they're not filming their stealth camps for me what I always did was edit the videos that I'd filmed so what that meant was that's why in effect my uploads are always done on a Saturday literally the day I get back from a car camp because to be honest I've already edited everything put it all together and it's ready to rock and roll now the difference for me now is that because I'm not because my phone isn't my main camera it means I have to download the videos from the camera to the phone so that's gonna make editing in the car a little bit harder to be honest so I think now becomes a good time where I'm pleased that my Vodafone contract was up well changed or upgraded to now include unlimited data so that means I might actually get to watch films and Netflix and stuff on my phone in the car because um, I can't really edit so yeah I get to chill out and watch Netflix Netflix and chill by myself doesn't quite sound right does it <laughs> also Despite my earlier concerns about the temperature for tonight, it must be said, it is actually quite mild again. It's very odd. I could have sworn it was going to be an absolute chiller. Mind you, it is only six o'clock, so there's plenty of time for that to change. And as I've said, I have my second sleeping bag hiding behind me, so I can use it. But at the moment, I'm feeling very cosy, which is quite pleasant. So, I totally know the reason why so many of you follow me 
is because of my expert culinary canned food meals that I make whenever I car camp. It's safe to say every single car camp I've done has consisted of canned food. So what wondrous delights do I have for you today? Well, things are a bit different. reason why things are different is because I make this short, I don't want to bore you, I've changed my diet. Basically a diet I've often done in the past every now and again is keto or Atkins or paleo, all those low carb diets and at the minute I've gone back onto keto for the past couple of weeks. So that basically means no carbs, minimal protein and high fat. So because of that Canned food, I could have made something work, but uh, as a rule of thumb, I don't tend to eat canned food at home. So I thought for this month, I will actually cook something proper. So let's go. Well, I'll tell you what, it certainly gets a lot more hotter in here when you're frying this amount of food. Canned food is so quick, this takes longer. So whilst it's had the advantage of making the car warmer, it's also going to make the car windows really condensation-y. So in a minute I'm going to crack the windows a bit just to um, aerate the car out. But as for now, I can chow down to this. So. For all you people that car camp as well, what kind of meals do you go for? Do you do the canned food or do you do the more proper cooking? Let me know. Of course, the problem with this meal, what it's made me realise is the one thing I never bought, which was a washing up bowl. I've got as far as bringing washing up liquid and I've got cold water and I can make hot water. I've not got nothing to wash up in. Um, I've got baby wipes, so I think this frying pan, this plate, I'll give them a little baby wipe once over and hide them in a bag until I get home. I suppose that's the thing where my current setup pretty much allows me to be complete stealth. So I can do, as I always say, everything in this car. I don't need to go out of it. So washing up kind of ruins that really, doesn't it? So yeah, baby wipe, frying pan, grease. Don't know how well that will work, but we'll find out. Well, it's safe to say I'm absolutely stuffed. 
and where keto or where that meal was so high fat um, I'm feeling fairly wiped out at the minute now so what I'm going to do I've cracked both these windows to aerate the car a little bit and take out some of the condensation but it's probably too late it's fully full of condensation already um, but yeah despite what I said I did download a couple of videos to my phone so I'm just going to lie down and have a little play and edit with those Tell you what, I'm not sure what is more annoying. Boy racers playing dance music or an old man listening to Radio 2. Hmm, you park next to me, listen to Radio 2 for about an hour. I think Radio 2 is more, <laughs> more annoying. Anyway, I am settling down to my jasmine tea. And here we go. I'm as snug as a bug in a rug. The car park's emptied out pretty much. There's only a couple of cars left. The last few people left the pub. They weren't too noisy either. So yeah, it is cold. I think I should be okay with just the one sleeping bag though. Touch wood. But the other one's just there. Should I need it? But otherwise, it's midnight and I suppose I should go to sleep. Um, I'm feeling tired and I say I'm hopeful it's going to be a good skip. So I'll see you in the morning. I'm out. Welshman 64, this bit's for you. So, last time I was stealth camping, I got to show you some lovely beach, sea, it was a sunny day. This morning, it's grey, it's overcast. And all I can show you is a car park. And even then I can't even show you that. Because <laughs> it won't focus. It's focusing on the condensation. Oh well. Good morning everyone, well it's 8am and I'm enjoying my first coffee of the day. So I slept quite well actually, it was as quiet as I thought it would be here. I only heard one person to the night at 3am get in their car and drive off which was a bit random but other than that the coldness wasn't a problem either, my, my one normal sleeping bag was fine so I'll have to um, put a link into what this sleeping bag is because it's really good. Oh yeah, it's a Van Gogh 8 Tog, 8 degrees to 20 degrees Celsius, two seasons, single layer. So I'm guessing that's why it's good because it's still designed for this temperature. So yeah, the temperature was fine. The noise was fine. I slept well. The only problem I actually had and still have is when I woke up at 3 a.m. I had a banging headache. Now I've got painkillers here um ibuprofen and paracetamol because i do have migraines or have had migraines in the past um i've taken those i've woken up again at six and it's still banging um i've gone back to sleep woken up now and it's still banging so i think to be honest as much as it pains me i don't think i'm going to be able to run today um where i've run for so many years i have a motto that i don't run if i'm not 100 percent and to be honest, if I've had a headache for six hours and painkillers has not shifted it at all, then, um, yeah, it's not a good good idea to go and physically exert yourself. And actually, in addition to that, 
it's been raining since about 5am this morning so I got the forecast wrong I didn't think there was going to be rain and if there's another thing I've learned over the years I'm not a big fan of muddy trails um, especially when it's still raining and because I don't know this circuit either or the section was going to run it's that much worse because my glasses are going to get wet and steamed up I won't know where I am I might miss signs and it's not going to be fun and to be honest because it's raining I can't use the drone either so there's lots of factors which are pretty much telling me no so as to completely not waste the morning I think what I'm going to do I'm going to make myself another coffee although I need to boil the water for that because I've run out of my thermos water and then have that just have a general chill and then I think we'll take a walk and work out where the North Downs Way actually starts because to be honest I think I could quite happily come back here um, it's a nice car park and it's still a section of the North Downs that I want to run so if I know where it is then at least when we come here in the future I'll know where to go so this was my home for last night And this is the car park. Well, that took me all of five seconds to get from the car park to where the trail starts. It literally is down the road. And actually, to be honest, there was loads of ramblers in the car park this morning. Well, I could hear loads of people talking and I couldn't work out who it was when I got out of my car see it was a whole rambling party and I can see why but I think what I'm going to do now I'm going to switch from the vlogging camera to my phone because then I can use my gimbal and that'd be a lot better <laughs> back here to run this and hopefully that time I won't have a banging headache and I'll be able to. pretty much it for today. I've done 5k out so I'm going to turn myself around and do 5k back. So a 10k walk's not bad. Like I say it has been lovely and um, if you're down this way or from this way and you've not checked out Lenham and North Downs Way I highly recommend it. But right switch off turn around get back to the car.
Okay, that's me done. I've got back to the car, I've had a big coffee, and to be honest, I've still got a banging headache. So it was definitely the right idea to not run today. And to be honest, even walking that little section was really nice. It was as nice as I thought it would be. And I'm definitely gonna do another car camp here again. This car park is fantastic. And this route is gonna be fantastic to run beyond where I've just walked to. So yeah. My next car camp now won't be until next month, so January 2022. If I don't see you until then, I hope you have a great Christmas and a very happy new year. And I will be doing one upload between now and then. It's going to be a video of all the equipment I use to film these, um, how I edit and how I upload. Um, and knowing me, there'll probably be some silly YouTube shorts in the interim as well. So yes, other than that, take care. I'll see you later.